You're a little what? A little tired. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> 23. My God. Oh, what is that? Come on, sauce it up. Spicy. Okay, now let me show you. You take a break because you're tired. Let me explain yeah. what's going on here, okay? Yeah. Here we go. We've got to hit a nice draw, power draw. Yeah. Here she is. That's got a little heat on it. You take your break. You ready to go now? Yeah. Okay. Give me the heebie-jeebies. All right. All right. Yeah, so you can see down here, uh, the setup looks nice. Arms are hanging down right where we want them, okay? Now, when you play this, uh, when I play this back, you can see how your, your uh, club head and arms are lifting right away. Yeah. I still want them to feel to you like the left arm's gonna go across uh, your body mm -hmm. along with the club head sneaking this way. What happens here is you can see your turning is shut off. I mean, and I'm looking at your legs now, your knees, your yeah. hips, there's nothing much going on. And then you're loading very high with the left elbow, excuse me, right elbow. So that elbow is still got its way uh, a little higher than you would have thought, right, yeah. up here. And so at some point in here, you got to reattach this area. Sometimes you do really well with it. You can see it coming down there. Um, but the tendency will be that that shaft will come down high through the shoulder socket. Now the shaft is there, shoulder socket's there, and as, as I continue to play this out, it goes a little, the club head's going right through the collar. Yeah. I call that the decapitation line right there, you know? It's like, whoosh, off of the head. We've got to shallow you out. So I'm going to show you some moves to help shallow you out, and we're going to do it mostly with the body and the connection of the left arm and how you're moving this thing away. But what we have been seeing a little bit <clears throat> is for sure, the arms lifting up right away, this elbow gets up here, and then you try to shallow, but it's shallowing high, and then bang, it starts coming down a little bit high, club starts coming high through the neck there. So one simple fix is just like, hey, get a glove, put it under here, okay, get some pressure underneath that uh, tri-bicep inside the area. And then as you go back, just do a couple sweepers back this way. So you sweep the arms back, and therefore, that'll give you a little bit of a different uh, path going back and through, right? Yeah, you can see that. We just need a couple percent at a time, you know? I'm not looking for, like, I mean, I know it's going to feel funny. Don't get me wrong, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, here we go. So I'm going to stand here, and this will be your guardrail, right? So you're going to go back right now. You're not going to hit right now. Just go ahead and brush away from my club. Don't hit it. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot. You're able to do a lot. Just relax there. Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. I'll try it again. That's it. And you know, before your club was going up this way, go ahead and trace it. Bang. That's what it, that feels normal, right? That direction going back. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just going to try to let your club head start under my red handle a little bit. There you go. That's it. Okay. Forget about the left arm. Whatever it takes. Your club head, the initial burst and needs energy to needs back. to go that way. It needs to go back. Needs to go back. Just get it back. Just get it back somewhere. A little bit. There you go. Oh yeah. Right. <clears throat> See the line there, buddy. Yeah, that was a good line. Uh -huh, that was a great line. Yeah, I'm happy with that every time. Kind of like, you can use a little wrist too. I don't care, you know. Mm -hmm. Relax. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're swinging the club into your body a little more rather than moving it up. Yeah. Swinging it into your body. <laughs> Come right over here, because this is where you're going to see the coupling. Stand right there. So it's a coupling. So your hands are a coupling, right? Uh -huh. Which means like a fishing lure, you know? Yeah. A swivel on a lure. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a lot of speed in there. That one I hit earlier in the and, and your, your spicy, saucy, little low yeah. flick lacrosse move is what we're looking for from you, because yeah. low is good for you, keeping the arms low, uh -huh. and also back here is good coming from underneath inside in a, in a way. Yeah. Diagonally across the mat, into the bag, wherever like we just talked about, wherever you can see there. Um, if you go this way and try and hold it, you might get the club to go that way, but probably not. Uh -huh. The coupling is when you allow the club to go swing. When you yeah. allow it to snap past, it'll go in the direction right. of really the throw. I'm throwing my club past, but yeah. it's also in that direction, right? So that's the difference for the coupling. It's like if I hold, it might just jerk my body around that uh -huh. way. But if I, if I let it go like this, like you are, it's going from a direction this way. 
It's a throw, mm -hmm. like you're letting your club go. Yeah. You know, it's winging it down that way. It's going to go out there. Start and there's the curve, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm not used to going fast, but I'm going to start. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's yeah. really starting out right. And your club pace is really... It's close to the path. Yeah. yeah, you can see that path, right? So it's like on a chalk line, it's going that way. So now you can see the you burn it there and you go, oh, yeah, baby, I'm coming here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Very nice. Straight, Straight ball will never hurt you. Yeah. Like having that chalk mark there? Yep. Yeah. We're good, right? Four reminders of the path. Lower, lower, lower on these practices. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's your spicy. Saucy low tree under a tree. Bang. Hello. You're gonna hit the post. Good work, man. Hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. The next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.